the tree. I finally got access to the video to your computer. July 26, 2010. I just want you people to know that if anybody, if anybody would come forward to help me stop what happened and stop what had happened, right now you would be having more glory in this world than you can imagine. You had no idea how many, how much here for you to give it. Homer, Homer was right here. You know, watching, they're all watching you, seeing if anybody's going to do anything. Anybody, knowing ahead of time, this is going to happen, and this happened. And they both died. And I went through it all 48 hours by myself in the hotel room. I couldn't escape it if I wanted to. I went through it, I felt it, I saw it. You know, they hung them on the cross the sun down, and then they stuck their eyes out, stuck their blood out of their penis and their tongue, because those are the main juggler veins, so they get the most blood without killing them. And they're hanging on a cross like that until the sun comes up. And then the sun comes up, and they take a dagger through their heart, and then they eat them. And they eat these people, and they eat these children, they do this every day of the week. And you people don't care. Do you realize what has happened? You know why there was no thunderstorms and earthquakes and tornadoes and the earth didn't shake and everything when Seth died? On the last day, the moment of his death, on the very last day, you know why? Because everybody left. Because they weren't even here to do nothing. Now you're left on your own. Do you understand that? What you're going to have to go through now, this apocalypse is hell, when you get told ahead of time that these children are going to die. And you've had proof, you've had ways to prove documentation who my master mason is and who Captain Porter is and all the people and the things I'm talking about, you can check it and validate it, confirm it. Okay? And even if it wasn't Diane or Seth and Sebastian there, it's still anybody's kid. And they're doing this all the time and you turn your head and that makes you just as guilty as them. And now, guess what? There ain't no one coming for help for you now. Really. That's the honest God truth. I thought to believe it. I know it because I went through those deaths of those children. I went through it with them. I'll be here for you. And even I try, I wish I could be. I wish I could turn my back. I mean, hate you guys. I want to hate you guys so much. Pathetic piece of fucking whatever you are. You're not human. You're not human. You're not fucking human. You don't belong here. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing about this shit? Nothing. You guys live in your little circle world and this shit's happening all around you and it's in your face and there's proof. And you don't do anything? And you expect our creators and our angels and everybody to protect you? And to take care of you and you're not doing it for your own people? That's why Homer's not here to protect you and that's why you're not getting shit. You know, but I'm still not going to leave you. Even though I want to, I want to just leave you. I just want to bail. You're not my people. I'm so disgusted with you. I love you guys, and I love you still, and I try to not love you, but I can't. I still have to be here, but I'm going to tell you what, it's going to be a lot harder than it had to be. You think the apocalypse is going to be something that you read about? It's going to be worse. And you know what? Only for those of you whose hearts are cold. Those of you whose hearts are cold. And you know if you're doing enough, you have to do something once you know you're responsible. And if you do nothing, you're just as guilty as the people doing it. I'm so mad at you. Especially you, Sherry. You should have done, you know you could have done more to help. I asked you several things, simple things to help. And you wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do it. Fuck you, Sherry.